Did you guys know that I used to work with an attorney that used to be the lawyer for John F. Kennedy himself? Yeah, that's true. This is my old lawyer. He incorporated my first business. I've actually used to work inside of his law office. I had a business inside of his building when he had a building in Sacramento. Now, that's him. I had no idea that he passed away because I haven't spoke to him in years. I used to work with Austin many, many years back, as early as 2013, 14, and 15. He's a great attorney. This guy is a bankruptcy attorney. Anything credit repair related, you want to work with a bankruptcy lawyer. Bankruptcy lawyers are the best at dealing with debtors and creditors. That's pretty much it, right? Credit repair. And so these are my credentials. This is a person that I know. I ate dinner with him. I even bought property from him. His old car, this Mercedes right here, that's his old car. I purchased that car from him. We can scroll down here and let's just take a look. You can read, I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can read up on him. These are my credentials, okay? When dealing with education, credit is not in the university system. It's not something they teach you in high school. But it's funny because you go to college to get a job, but they don't teach you about finance. And that's simply because how this structure is in government is just a matrix. Like Andrew Tate says, they don't really help you they actually do you more harm than good. And these banks, they do the same. So you could see right here, as you can see, through his Kennedy connection right there, boom, you can read up it yourself. So like I said, lawyers that have mentored me went to Yale and New Haven, Connecticut. And he actually went to uh, the law school in uh, London and England. It was called, where is it? It should be here. Mm, Oxford. Yeah, he went to Oxford. And he also went to Yale. So this guy's legit. He worked with a president. So you can imagine the stuff that this guy knows. So there you have it. This, like I said, Austin William Cooper, this is him right here. There's nothing to lie. Now you might, you might be a cynic and be like, well, this doesn't prove that you work with him. Well, no, I have worked with him. I know this guy's a phone number. But guess what? He's already deceased. Okay, but I know his, I know his family, I know his children, and I also know other lawyers that know him and his old clients. I can bring them on the channel, but I refuse not to because they don't want to be on here. Because you know what? It turns out real experts, they don't really have time to be on YouTube. That's a fact. You got to be careful. You got to be very careful. Most you, got, you have a lot of people that are on YouTube that shouldn't even be giving out credit advice. And it's funny because you have people like, people like, I'll just give their first name, Mike, saying that credit repair is dead. But this guy is the same guy that makes complaints about dispute templates. Well, this guy's been promoting dispute templates. And his whole channel has based, been based upon educating people on how to repair credit. Well, guess what? When you create this buzz about credit education and teaching people how to repair credit on YouTube, which is great, it's good to educate people, but honestly, let's face it, these people that are looking up on YouTube, they're looking up for templates, and these people on YouTube, that's all they can do is just produce these stupid templates. I've been against templates, I never use templates. And then another thing is, you have all these credit people on YouTube saying Metro 2 compliance. There is no such thing as Metro 2 compliance. If you don't believe me, I can prove it right here, right here. Okay, the sources that this is extracted from are CDIA, File Consumer Finance, Library, Library, okay, of NCLC, and there's two more, LinkedIn and other ones. So here's the thing, Metro 2 is a format in the industry standard of electronic data reporting format used by credit furnishers, blah, 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 okay? Now, here's the thing, is it, the question is, is this a way to dispute stuff on your credit? It's not. The only way to legitimately dispute errors on your credit report is to work directly with the credit bureaus and data furnishers, not through Metro 2 format itself. So this whole thing about Metro 2 compliance, you know how you have the Fair Credit Reporting Act? It's actually a thing. Well, there's no such thing as Metro 2 compliance. It's a fictitious thing that some people made up, just like 609 credit repair, although Section 609 
is in the Fair Credit Reporting Act, but it's been perversely used and misinterpreted, and it really hasn't been effective, but it's been the one-size-fits-all strategy from that guy, Brandon Weaver. And he's the one that started this whole template stuff. Okay, because you have people that messed up their credit, but they're trying to learn how to fix it. Well, these people are definitely un, they're not educated and they're underqualified, right? And a lot of these people don't have accountability. That's just the straight up truth. That's why this business is crazy. You have crazy clients. Some clients call me and I never even dealt with them, never said anything bad about them. But I'm like, who's shitting your cornflakes? I've never met you. I don't even know who you are. Why are you mad at me? Seriously. And you have credit repair experts that are saying, oh, it's illegal to charge up front, which it is. There's something called the Credit Repair Organization Act. And then there's something called actually running a business. You have to, you have to make money. You have to charge customers to uh, run a business. And let's face it, nothing in the world is for free. Can you do this stuff for free on your own? Yes, but look at how it turns out. You have people complaining. You have YouTubers, which I'll call them YouTubers, which they show their reward on YouTube, well, they got this many views as it's, that's some qualification. It's not a qualification to get views. It just shows that you know how to get people's attention. That's it. You think this guy had a YouTube? No, he didn't. Okay. But like I said, right here, this is the proof guys. Claims that Metro 2 format can be used to erase negative credit information are inaccurate. The Fair Credit Reporting Act does not allow for the removal of accurate or current negative information from your credit report. If it's accurate. Okay. Well, they're, they're just, it just doesn't exist. Okay, so Metro 2 is a format that just, when you see your accounts on your credit report, that's it. It's a, it's a format. That's all it is. Now, I understand where they're getting at. They might say, uh, well, actually, I'm not even going to give them any help. I'm not going to give anyone any help out here or share my secrets, but I'll just be, I'll just Keep it simple, okay? Because there's some other things you need to know about Metro 2, but I'm just, I'll just be blunt with you. There is no Metro 2 disputing stuff. It's just, it's just BS, okay? It's just BS. It's not really effective, doesn't work, and, it's, uh, and, and you, don't have to, you don't have to take my word for it. John Olsheimer that used to work with the credit bureaus. John Olsheimer. Do we know who John Olsheimer is? Look right here. John Olsheimer is an expert credit is an expert on credit reporting, okay? He's the author of books, blah, 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 Wall Street Journal, New York Times. So he's been in the New York Times, okay? He's been in the news with over 30 years of credit-related experience, professional experience, blah, 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 blah. My dyslexia is kicking in. I don't want to read it. You need to read it. It's your job to read it. This is a quick video that I'm just going to post before I go to sleep here. So he has been an expert witness in over 600 credit-related lawsuits, okay? Very, very credible. Very, very credible guy, okay? Very, very credible guy. All these people, okay? Forbes, Watch, Market Watch, MSN Money, Finance Expert, Credit Expert. He is the credit expert, okay? He is the credit expert of this whole entire company that gets millions of views a month, like 50 million views a month. Now, guess what? timebusinessnews.com right here now right there okay so you see it where the hell is it oh right here see check out pinnacle credit repair all right so we're in the news too okay they write about us all the time and other companies like bad credit now you might say oh this is just it's not you yeah you can click it you see it goes to my website they are our biggest fan they send us tons of business, okay? Do you want to know how much views they get a month? They get lots of views. The views that they get a month are right here, okay? Thousands of views a month, okay? Right, right there. See, it goes to my website right there. Let's go back. Now you want to know who's also mentioned with these people that are so credible. He's the credit expert. They have 27 million users on this platform. Okay. This is a very big company, very credible. All right. Forget all these YouTube people. I don't need YouTube to get clients. I don't need YouTube to do anything. YouTube is a decision. It's a promise that I made. I made a promise that I would do it because you know what? I'm a winner. I'm a non, I'm not a loser. I have my own personal goal for my YouTube channel 
and you're a part of that, and I'm not giving up on it, no matter what. I didn't even want to talk about credit repair, because I, because giving out my secrets to people, it's just, it could be in the wrong hands, and I don't want to give my competitors my information, too. Let's just be real here. I run a business. I'm not a wolf in sheep's clothing here. I'm actually a fucking shark. I'm a business owner. I'm an American, and people that say stupid things about credit repair, all right? Very stupid things. It's like they're against credit repair, but they claim to be a credit expert. What's with you? Like, you have to understand this is a viable business industry, and we have to fight to keep this a business because guess what? The main issue is that people that shouldn't be disputing stuff are disputing. They're downloading templates that are jamming the system, making it harder for credit repair experts. And maybe you're a YouTuber like Mike that says, oh, why I got out of credit repair, but you should work with me. He's making money by referring you to other businesses to work on your credit. So what difference does it make? He's making money off YouTube. It doesn't matter. Everyone's making money at this, and you have to be an advocate for this industry, right? It became an industry for a reason for credible experts to actually help people because people don't want to do this even if you teach them how to do this. And that's fair. That's right. But they have to work with the right professionals. And that's what people don't understand. But there are scams out here. There are scam businesses, which I will discuss. But you can see Pinnacle Credit Repair right there. Let's hit enter. You're going to see all these articles are written by credible people that put their name backed on that article. They're putting their name etched into the brand of Pinnacle. Do you think any one of these amazing people here, Eric or... Who else? Brandon. Do you think they want to give themselves a bad name? They're stamping their name of approval on these articles. These are my friends. These are my pals. Professionally. Actually, I never met them, but we work together professionally. We have a professional business relationship together. They're not paid to do this. I don't pay them to do this. They mention companies that actually are big hits and are marketable. These aren't paid affiliate links, okay? These aren't paid affiliate links. This is this is free marketing for us because we are badasses here. Me, meaning we, meaning my team, my partner, and my staff. I work with a small group of people. We're a small boutique credit repair company that works with people from all walks of life. So I'm not here to bullshit you. I'm a businessman. This video is dedicated to Austin William Cooper, my old friend and attorney. He passed away. I had no idea he passed away in 2022, which was just, you know, during the COVID. And this is an article you can read about him. And as you can see, we have the lovely, lovely Sacramento fields right here uh, from Sacramento, California. And this guy used to be the lawyer of John F. Kennedy's family. This guy had politicians in his back pockets. These are people that can go against creditors. When I talk about trial lawyers, bankruptcy lawyers, federal public defenders, they're all working with Austin William Cooper. I was working in their law office, okay? So don't come to me and say I'm a scam. Don't say I'm, un, I'm not qualified, okay? This guy is legit. This guy is a badass. I don't know where these people on YouTube are saying they're sending people uh, sending files to lawyers, but let me tell you something about lawyers. This guy is the lawyer, and people that were mentored by him are badasses too, people that work with him. All these other lawyers are a dime a dozen. It's like going to the DMV and getting your license. Not everyone can drive on the street, but when you, work, when you want to work with a badass, you need to work with real badasses, and that's me. I'm humble. I'm blessed to meet him. By the grace of God, I was able to meet him. Another badass that I, that I was mentored by, I was mentored by the founder of Lexington Law. This is all real shit. The original founder of Lexington Law mentored me for many, many years. During the time, I actually worked with him. And actually, it was because I was mentored underneath the founder of Lexington Law first that I was able to meet uh, Austin William Cooper, two people that are not related, but because of the skills that I harbored and my connections with the founders of pretty much credit repair business. I met with him, and we did a lot of business and a lot of deals together. Learned a lot from Austin in that short of time. I worked with him for about three years. So, like I said, this is a short video. We have New York Times here. This isn't to brag. This is just to tell you straight up, okay? Because you have people on here saying a bunch of crazy stuff, but they're hypocrites. They're hypocrites. 
Credit repair is a business. It's a, and we are a for-profit business. We do business by the paper. We don't screw around. I don't got time for any losers, all right? I don't just fire people because I don't like them. I fire people because people blatantly disrespect and they don't follow the rules. And they, when I say they disrespect, they disrespect, okay? I just don't work with them. I don't force anyone to sign up. Um, I don't call anyone. You guys call me. Don't get mad at me. Don't call me a scam. You guys called me, all right? I'm getting calls every day from people. And I don't even I don't even pick them up. If you're serious, you can send your credit report, you can send your information, and we'll give you a consultation. Just book using the link below, and that's that. There's no ends, if or buts. I don't have any. I don't need to wear a suit. I have a suit in the closet over here. I could wear a suit, but I I'm comfortable on my own skin. Other than Austin Moore Cooper, he can be in a suit. It's his style. Most people in suits are not even making money. They're just pretending that they are. Okay. And that's the same thing with people on YouTube. Most people on YouTube don't even really have credentials. These are the credentials that I have. Badcredit.org. And we're on World Financial Review. Think about it. The World, World Financial Review, we're on those websites. Those beautiful, awesome websites. And I got other news organizations calling me to do business with them. All right. I don't really have time to post these videos, but I'm just want to post this. It's going to be on YouTube so you guys can know because some people they call me and they're like like getting all paranoid. I'm not pressuring anyone to sign up. I don't it's it's I'm completely indifferent, okay? But at least don't waste my time, especially if I spend an hour with you and give you the blueprint and you just want to argue with me. Look, I didn't even ask for your money yet. You said you wanted to join, you wanted to do this. You know, you have people 180 on me. Chill. Go somewhere else. Go actually hire a scam company. And then you actually figure out what a scam is. Because like I said, we're a business. And just because we want to make a profit in your heart and your mind, if you think that it's wrong for me to make money, to me to make a living, uh, that's your problem. Because here's the thing. Nothing in life comes for free. All these winners that I work with, they have millions of dollars of real estate. They don't mess around. They're not dumb. They hire the best. Do you think this guy does pro bono work? Let's not virtue signal here. Do you think Austin does pro, did pro bono work? He did a little bit, okay? But it's mostly just a safe face. You can't run a business by doing shit for free. So like I said, anyone that wants to talk bad about the credit repair industry, you got to ask who they are. Like, what, which side are you on? Like, What's going on here? Because this is an industry and it's here to stay.